steer clear of these seven drinks that can quickly destroy your kidneys. What if I told you that the seemingly innocuous beverage you have every day could be a ticking time bomb? Your renal system? Did you know that kidney illness affects almost one in three persons in the United States? Given this concerning figure, it's important to remember that every day, more than half of unbeknownst to them, Americans drink things that can damage their kidneys, which raises the chance of dying young by five to ten times. What drinks then should you stay away from? What is known by shrewd drinkers that you are not? Remain with us. In a few minutes, we'll identify the top seven drinks that you should avoid or reduce out of your diet in order to save your kidneys. Get ready for some startling disclosures. Additionally, don't overlook our delicious and healthful suggestions for these beverages. In the latter segment of this film, please be aware that all of the information in this video has been verified before we get started. Impartial, and examined by experts in the field. Now let's return to the worst beverages that can damage your kidneys. Quickly. Juicy fruit. 7. Punch with fruit. Store-bought concentrated fruit juice and fruit punch are frequently praised as healthful options. In particular for children. But as you can see from the label, these beverages don't have a lot of actual fruit in them. Juice and are loaded with sugar. It has been demonstrated that sugars raise the risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, and obesity. Kidney issues are greatly increased by these disorders. 30% of patients with type 1 diabetes and 10 to 40% of those with type 2 diabetes will eventually suffer from renal failure. According to U.S. standards for 2020 to 2025, the Centers for Disease Control CDC suggests keeping your daily calorie intake from added sugar to less than 10%. Taking 2,000 calories a day as an example, since there are 4 calories in 1 gram of sugar, 200 calories, or around 50 grams, would be the maximum amount from added sugar. The American Heart Association, AHA, advises limiting added sugar intake in any other case. 6% or more of your daily caloric intake. For women and men, that translates to roughly 24 and 36 grams respectively. A 12-ounce portion of fruit punch can contain up to 40 grams of sugar, so be careful. 160 calories that aren't from food. This is over double the AHA's recommended amount and about 80% of the CDC's daily sugar limit. Such elevated blood sugar levels enter your system fast and can cause a sudden surge in your blood sugar levels, placing additional stress on your kidneys throughout the removal process. Therefore, cutting back on or avoiding store-bought fruit punch is a smart decision for your general health and kidneys. These juices' potential phosphorus content raises further concerns, as do many store-bought beverages. Kidney stones can be caused by preservatives and compounds that are acidic. In the parts that follow, we'll go into further detail on this. After all, be cautious and steer clear of fruit punches hazardous traps by reading the label. Juice from fresh produce is better for your kidneys when made at home. Additionally, if at all possible, select whole fruit or 100% fruit juice. 6. Drink soda. Sodas. When thinking about drinks to stay away from for renal health, soda should be your first choice. One issue to be concerned about. Almost all of soda's constituents are toxic, and its main ingredient is water. Numerous scientific research have provided ample evidence linking soda consumption to kidney damage. First off, drinks are loaded with sugar. A 16-ounce drink has 40 to 50 grams of sugar and 155 calories, above the CDC's daily recommended intake. Sugar limit and double the AHA suggested amount. For the sake of your kidneys and general health, try to avoid this sugary catastrophe. Kidney stones are hard deposits that can occur as a result of consuming sugar-filled carbonated drinks. Can impair renal function and result in excruciating pain. 
Over the course of eight years and more than 194,000 participants, researchers discovered 4,462 novel instances of renal stones. The greatest use of sugar-sweetened cola increased renal disease risk by 23%. Stones in contrast to individuals who consumed the least. Additionally, sodas, particularly the dark-colored ones, contain phosphorus due to preservatives and embellishments such as polyphosphates. If you have renal dysfunction, phosphorus may be hazardous to you. Researchers assessed kidney disease, CKD, patients who were not receiving dialysis in a study. Phosphate levels and renal function in 1,716 patients over a three-year period. One kind of phosphorus is phosphate. They found that the likelihood of starting dialysis was doubled for patients with high phosphate levels. Or pass away in contrast to people with lower amounts. Keep in mind that when you eat meals like fruits and vegetables that naturally contain organic phosphorus, only 40 to 60 percent of the mineral is absorbed by your stomach. But sodas that have inorganic phosphorus added to them absorb far more effectively, at a level greater than 80 percent. Because soda has a lot of added sugar and absorbs phosphorus quickly, it is hazardous to the kidneys. Therefore, reducing soda consumption as much as possible is advised. In actuality, though, the consuming habits of the majority of Americans contradict this counsel. Because soda seems to slake thirst quickly, a lot of individuals drink a lot of it at once. To replenish fluids. The truth is that soda dehydrates you and doesn't give you enough hydration because it's caffeine and sugar ratio. Over time, chronic dehydration can harm your kidneys. Here are some guidelines to help you determine whether you are dehydrated. Light yellow or clear urine, smooth lips and skin, and no feeling of dehydration are signs of good hydration. Feeling peckish. If you have scaly skin, dry eyes, cracked lips, or a dry tongue, you might be dehydrated. Water is the best hydrating medium. Choose sparkling water or seltzer over soda if you are in the mood for something bubbly. Another helpful, bubbly beverage is kombucha. It is a fermented tea that converts sugar into organic acids that are good for you. Energy liquids. 5. Energy filled beverages. Energy drinks are some of the worst selections found in any market, right up there with sodas. They're promoted as a rapid energy boost that contains legal stimulants. As beverages to enhance both physical and mental performance. Energy drinks may also make a big deal out of the extra vitamins, amino acids, and other nutrients they contain. They are superior to others. But none of these claims are FDA regulated and the majority are unsupported by research. Ads notwithstanding, there is no energy drink that is genuinely healthy. They are unhealthy because they include a lot of sodium, sugar, artificial sweeteners, and caffeine. For the kidneys. Energy drinks have the rare potential to cause acute renal issues. A 40-year-old guy suffered from acute renal failure in 2014 as a result of ingesting huge amounts of of Red Bull every two to three weeks. After quitting Red Bull, his kidneys recovered in two days and were in good condition for ten months. Let's examine what causes energy drinks to be bad for your kidneys now. A 16-ounce portion of energy drinks usually contains 54 to 62 grams of sugar, which is more than the daily recommended dosage for a full day. Sugar and artificial sweeteners, as we discussed before, can cause further renal strain. Moreover, energy drinks contain a lot of sodium. An 8-ounce portion may include up to 350 milligrams of sodium, depending on the brand. 15% of the suggested daily consumption. The body needs sodium, but only in trace amounts. In the United States, 2,300 milligrams is the highest limit and 1,500 milligrams is the recommended daily intake of salt. MG is the recommended quantity. Rather than kidney stones, the focus of these suggestions is on blood pressure and bone health. 
but maintaining the recommended sodium intake can help reduce the amount of calcium in urine while improving blood pressure. The risk of kidney stones can increase with excessive sodium consumption. Additionally, consuming too much salt can cause blood pressure to rise, weakening and damaging the kidneys' blood vessels by making them smaller and more constricted. Kidney function may be compromised by damaged kidney blood arteries, making kidney removal more challenging. Waste and extra fluid that your body produces. This may result in an unsafe loop where blood pressure rises even more, possibly leading to renal damage. Energy drinks contain enough caffeine to cause you to become dehydrated and feel worn out and lethargic. Furthermore, the kidneys must work harder to balance water and electrolytes when dehydrated, potentially damaging the kidneys. An 8-ounce portion of energy drinks typically contains 80 to 150 milligrams of caffeine, which is equivalent to up to two 12-ounce drinks or 5 ounces of coffee. Be wary of larger amounts, though, as some come in 20 to 24-ounce cans containing more than 500 milligrams of caffeine, that's equivalent to 14 Coke cans. Given that the recommended daily intake of caffeine is no more than 300 to 400, this amount is potentially harmful. NG Daily It is imperative that you study the labels of energy drinks you purchase going forward. Let's look for Guarana, a plant extract with a high caffeine content. 40 mg of caffeine are included in 1 gram of Guarana. Consequently, the presence of Guarana in an energy drink indicates a higher caffeine content. When you need a pick-me-up, what are some better options than energy drinks for your kidneys? You can select herbal drinks, like peppermint tea, that are lower in caffeine. Ginger tea, ginseng tea, yerba mate, or ginkgo biloba tea. And while you're enjoying these, remember to stay hydrated enough to safeguard kidney function. Beverages with Caffeine Remember that consuming energy drinks isn't a recommended method of getting your vitamins and minerals. Fruits and vegetables are a quick and natural way to receive these nutrients. Try blending these natural sources into smoothies for a healthier alternative to energy drinks. A better choice. Snacking on a fruit can provide more benefits than just energy. The studies that back up our assertions are available for individuals who are curious about the proof. Within the description field. If you are liking our video so far, do leave us some feedback by clicking the like button. We will produce more content of this kind. Diet Coke. 4. Diet Coke. We now feel the need to differentiate between regular and diet sodas since a lot of individuals are unaware of the negative consequences of the supposedly healthy diet sodas, therefore they unintentionally drink diet sodas and jeopardize their well-being. This explains why diet sodas have a familiar taste while having no sugar or calories. It's not surprising that diet sodas and other low-calorie sweeteners have these qualities. Drinks have gained popularity as a means of reducing weight or slake thirst. But there's no concrete proof to back up the claim that they help people lose weight, and some people really experience weight gain as a result of artificial sweeteners. Diet sodas therefore offer no unique advantages. Diet sodas may really present real hazards that are on par with or higher than those of conventional sodas. In an epidemiology investigation, 467 healthy participants and 465 individuals with recently identified as having CKD. Consuming two or more Cokes a day was found to increase the risk of chronic renal disease by twofold. The danger associated with regular and diet colas was the same. Diet sodas are problematic because artificial sweeteners are used to simulate the flavor of table sugar. Diet sodas frequently contain artificial sweeteners including aspartame, saccharin, sucralose, and Ace K. There is a greater chance of renal function decrease associated with certain sweeteners. Furthermore, extensive research shown that consuming many servings of diet soda 
daily could raise the risk of diabetes by 38 to 68 percent and high blood pressure by 14 percent. Mortality by 30 percent, heart attack and stroke by 30 to 43 percent. For the benefit of your kidneys and general health, avoid diet drinks. However, it goes beyond sweeteners because phosphorus is also included in diet drinks and ordinary sodas. Sodas get their distinct acidic flavor from this phosphorus, which is found in phosphoric acid. However, an excess of phosphorus might increase the acidity of your kidneys, increasing the risk of renal illnesses and stones. Are you now trying to find a healthy alternative to diet soda? The greatest option would be sparkling water. Add a squeeze of lemon juice for a taste boost. You can also create your own delectable and nourishing drink by combining real fruit juice with sparkling water. Soda. When you have a sweet tooth, think about substituting healthier sweeteners like stevia and erythritol. These are all natural solutions that won't put undue stress on your kidneys or blood sugar. Additionally, they have antioxidants in them that can help shield your cells from harm. Coffee and tea with added sugar. 3. Coffee and tea with added sugar. Coffee and iced tea are popular drinks, especially in the summer. However, a number of these drinks components, particularly their kidney effects, can harm your health. Wellness. Commercially made iced teas frequently have a lot of calories and added sugar. Typically, a 12 ounce portion has roughly 28 grams of sugar, which is nearly as much as soda or fruit flavored juice. Consuming too much sugar can exacerbate diabetes and cause obesity, which are two main causes of renal illness. Even more worrisome, flavored coffee beverages like cappuccinos and frappuccinos might include fats from whipped cream and other toppings. Sufficient water is essential for the kidneys to efficiently filter waste and preserve electrolyte balance. Equilibrium. But because tea and coffee contain caffeine, which can dehydrate, they are well-known diuretics. U. Long-term dehydration strains the kidneys, eventually leading to renal impairment. So, it's critical to read labels in order to keep an eye on how much caffeine you consume. For adults, the FDA has established a daily maximum of 400 mg. Pregnant or nursing mothers, as well as young children under 2, are urged to refrain from drinks with caffeine. If you take in 200 mg or more of caffeine, you may get headache-like symptoms. Agitation, restlessness, twitching muscles, diarrhea, upset stomach, and difficulty falling asleep. Caffeine can also raise blood pressure, which may harm internal blood vessels. Your renal system. Taking excessive amounts of caffeine, more than 10 mg per kilogram of body weight a day, can result in serious health issues. Approximately 500 mg is a relatively large dose for an individual weighing 50 kg, or 110 pounds, each day in terms of caffeine. This amount of consumption has been connected to stroke, abnormal heartbeat, and chest pain. Seizures and other toxic consequences can start at about 1,200 mg of caffeine, which comes out to 12 to 16 cups of coffee. When taking powerful liquid caffeine supplements, use caution as half a cup may contain more than 2,000 mg. MG of caffeine, a level much in excess of toxicity. To choose an appropriate caffeine dosage when purchasing coffee and tea, read the labels carefully. Remember that there is some caffeine in even decaf coffee. Therefore, bear in mind that abruptly stopping sweetened tea or coffee. Caffeine cessation is not advised. Headaches associated with caffeine withdrawal may result, particularly if you've been taking it regularly. Alternatively, consider gradually cutting back on your consumption or making your own unsweetened. For a mild caffeine boost, try black coffee or tea. These choices might also provide healthy nutrients and antioxidants. 2. Booze. Booze. Experts say that a 12-ounce bottle of beer, a 5-ounce glass of wine, 
or a 1.5 ounce can of soda constitute one drink. Gulp of strong alcohol. Exceeding three drinks per day, or seven drinks per week, for women, and more. For men, heavy drinking is defined as consuming four or more drinks per day, or 14 drinks per week. Heavy drinking can double the risk of kidney damage, regardless of the type of alcohol consumed. Drinking alcohol can upset the water balance in your body, which increases the production of urine and after dehydration. As we discussed previously, dehydration can actually harm the kidneys over time. Moreover, drinking more than two drinks every day can cause indirect renal damage. Day raises the possibility of hypertension, a significant risk factor for kidney disorders. Furthermore, Heavy drinking might damage your liver and perhaps cause renal disease. If you experience alcohol-related cirrhosis, which causes scarring of the hepatic tissue, also known as alcoholic hepatitis, is characterized by liver inflammation. The alterations in certain circumstances might be so severe that renal function is momentarily stopped. Can result in total kidney failure or function. The detrimental effects of binge drinking or ingesting more alcohol, on the kidneys are much more concerning. More than 4 to 5 drinks in a 24-hour period. Your blood alcohol level can be dangerously elevated by binge drinking. Acute renal damage is a reduction in kidney function that can result from this abrupt increase. Could need to have dialysis. Even though acute kidney injury frequently gets better with time, it can occasionally result in permanent harm. For those who should abstain completely from alcohol, consult your physician if you have any concerns. Regarding the safety of alcohol for you. If so, always remember to drink responsibly. Men should typically only have one or two drinks of alcohol per day, while women and those. People over 65 should limit their alcohol intake to one drink per day. When consuming alcohol, Eat and be mindful of portion quantities to preserve your kidneys, especially both beer and wine, as cups sometimes hold more than the recommended serving sizes. Dry wine or light beer are preferable than sweet, high-calorie beverages like liqueurs or creams. Mixed drinks. And what about beers without alcohol? To simulate the flavor of alcohol, businesses frequently add up to 0.5% alcohol. It's a tiny quantity, yet it can cause dehydration anyway. Remind yourself to sip a glass of water after each non-alcoholic beer too. Maintain hydration in your kidneys. Reduced fat yogurt. 1. Low-fat drinks with yogurt. Be cautious, while some varieties of yogurt are very nutrient-dense, others are not. Sugar or molasses are frequently added to low-fat yogurts to make up for their diminished flavor. Contentment with fat. Although it may improve their flavor, this adjustment is bad for your kidneys. For example, there can be more than 45 grams of sugar in a cup, 245 grams, of low-fat yogurt. Comparable to 11 teaspoons. That is more sugar than the American Heart Association advises for daily consumption by both men and women. All in one cup, and nearly at the CDC's daily sugar limit. Consuming too much sugar might prevent kidney cells from reabsorbing calcium, which can result in urine. An increase in calcium levels. This may lower urine production and foster the development of kidney stones. Furthermore, Full-fat yogurt may have more health benefits than low-fat yogurt. The process of removing fat may cause essential elements, such vitamins, to be lost. As well as calcium. Therefore, it's advisable to choose for full-fat yogurt varieties that have less added sugar. Anytime you see sugar in any form, like corn syrup or evaporated cane juice, it's, it's advisable to avoid those yogurt selections. Another option to reduce sugar intake and increase energy is to choose plain yogurt and add your own fruit. Nutritional worth. Making fermented foods and beverages, such kefir, kombucha, or yogurt, at home is the finest option. Comparing these homemade versions to store-bought ones, which usually contain 
preservatives and sugar added. Furthermore, the probiotic content of kombucha and kefir from stores is typically lower. Making fermented drinks at home also saves money because you may use a fresh carton of tea or milk to make a fresh pot. That's our list of the 7 typical drinks that can damage your kidneys, folks. These include fruit punch, carbonated and non-carbonated sodas, energy drinks, sweetened coffee and tea, and alcohol, as well as yogurt with reduced fat. These beverages may include high levels of added sugar, caffeine, and salt, all of which can harm, over time, your kidneys. Here's a tip to help you recall the entire list, write down the list of beverages. To maintain the health of your kidneys, you should carefully evaluate our list of 7 drinks that can damage your kidneys as well, according to your particular health and demands. Creating a customized nutrition plan under the supervision of a licensed healthcare expert or nutritionist. Ultimately, a basic principle states that drinks that are packaged and processed tend to be less healthful for the kidneys. Through abstaining from or limiting certain beverages, you can begin implementing a kidney-friendly way of life. You have more control and can ensure the healthiest results when you make your own natural drinks at home. Decisions regarding your kidneys. We'll be posting additional videos soon regarding the healthiest meals and beverages for your kidneys. Wellness. Remember to subscribe and enable alerts in order to see our most recent uploads. We work hard to deliver content that is accurate, helpful, and supported by science. Avoid missing out. Going back to our kidney-friendly drinking advice, try consuming any liquids at room temperature. Temperature. It is less taxing on the kidneys. Drinking cold beverages can occasionally make your kidneys work harder to control your body temperature. Maintaining your fluid intake will also assist you in better caring for your kidneys. Water is usually the greatest choice for your kidneys, but if you feel like it's boring, try the sparkling. Variations or include a few fruit or herb slices. Make cautious to look for hidden extra sugar or sodium when purchasing drinks. Above all, remember that every food has both positive and negative aspects, therefore moderation, balance, and variety is crucial for maintaining renal health at all times. Don't limit yourself to a single drink, experiment with flavors as long as they are healthy and natural, and your kidneys will appreciate it. But keep in mind that not every substance that is typically healthful is also good for your kidneys. Check out the video on the screen to learn about some common meals that can cause kidney destruction. Some of these foods may already be in your kitchen. We'll also offer advice on how to get the most out of these foods or discover alternatives. Kidney Advantages I'll see you over there. Remain educated and in good health.